Alright, hi everyone, all my beanie weenies, and welcome back to my channel. I am, of course, Hot Dogs, and I'm going to be hosting my new series of Sims 4 Big Brother UK All Stars. Now, I've been a huge fan of Big Brother UK since about 2008. I followed it from Channel 4 to Channel 5 up until its cancellation, and this series is going to honor all of that. We're going to have your favorite house guests from Celebrity Big Brother, Channel 4 Big Brother, Channel 5. Big Brother, winners, toast, everything under the sun. It's going to be a huge celebration of Big Brother UK. Now, of course, the exciting thing about Big Brother UK that makes it different from Big Brother US or my previous series that I've done is that it's all up to the public. So you guys vote for the winner and you're going to vote to evict someone every single week from the house. But mentioning the house, we have to go check that out. So of course you can see from the outside, I tried to keep it similar to the Channel 5 days of Big Brother right before it got canceled. But on the inside, it is completely different. Um, I went for a minimalistic, uh, dark spaceship theme and we're really emphasizing on Big Brother. The 1984 uh, George Orwell book, uh, of course the fabulous play and movies. I really wanted it to feel like a dystopian future. This isn't going to be a holiday for these all-stars. Here we have the living room. Of course, we have the two red eviction chairs. Our nominees will sit here and wait to see who leaves on eviction nights. And looking over all of them is pictures of Big Brother himself. Through a door from the living room, we enter into the bedroom. It is very sterile, uh, very cold. Everything's metal, the ground is stone. Everything's dirty and white and sterile. We have 20 beds in here. All of the house guests are gonna be cramped, living on top of each other, including with the new bunk beds. And then adjacent to the bedroom, we have the bathroom. As you can see, it's not much better. Uh, white, sterile, however, it's covered in stains and dirt. And we have uh, two shower rooms for boys and girls, and we also have stalls, so there isn't really much privacy. As you can see, the garden is decrepit and old and not too uh, many nice, comfortable places to hang out and lounge in the sun. Uh, meanwhile, the kitchen is chaotic. It's bright, it's orange, it's full of rust and odd uh, entities and uh, gadgets, uh, weird things and storage all over the walls, and it's pretty cramped. Uh, and there is going to be a twist with who gets to cook and stuff like that, but we will get to that later on. Uh, last but not least, as part of the house, we have to check out, of course, the diary room. Here is where the house guests will say their feelings, say how they're feeling, but of course also nominate each other for eviction. Um, but how about we go ahead and start filling up this house with house guests? And our first house guest is none other than the original winner of Big Brother UK himself, Craig Phillips. Come over here, now scream! I'm very fond of, uh, of Craig and his muscles, oh god. No oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, baby! Shut that baby up, crying! Trying to relax out here, yeah? <laughs> All right, so Craig Phillips, like I said, is the original winner of the first series of Big Brother UK all the way back in 2000. He is 49 years old and has lived most of his life being a builder. Um, we have to see if he's able to build close relationships in this house or if he's not going to last very long. He is the first one to enter. All right, so naturally, after having our first winner, we have to also have our second winner of Big Brother UK, which is, of course, Brian Dowling, who also went on to host the show when it first had its revival on Channel 5. And that went, um, well... Oh, I love it! The house is in turmoil! 
everyone's fighting, what are we going to do? Run Unfortunately, uh, Brian was soon let go from Channel 5 and was later replaced with Emma Willis. Uh, Brian is 42 years old. He won in 2001. Uh, let's see if he can win again or if he will be let go from this competition early. He is the second one to enter. Samzo, good bleep. <laughs> All right, now Nadia Almada is the third house guest to enter. She was the winner of Big Brother UK season five. She was the first transgender winner. I think potentially the first transgender house guest, and she was amazing and dramatic. For once in my life, I feel like I'm a normal person. I am not going to have fun if I don't have a cigarette. Well, I'm not having cigarettes. Will you either give me cigarettes or get me out of here? <laughs> in a very selfish way, I feel that I've been accepted. I am not a man, just for the record. Okay, uh -huh. what's next? I can't take it anymore! Oh, well, what do you expect from your music leaders with an astral? Everything has been great. I mean, it's going to be part of me for the rest of my life. So, what can I say? It's just great, great, great. Nadia is originally from Portugal and she is 44 years old. Like I said, she had one Big Brother 5. Um, and she also competed in Ultimate Big Brother, which came on at the end of its Channel 4 days. Uh, she is the third house guest. This is her third time on Big Brother. Let's see if third time's the charm. Gorbelint, Darvis, Walla Lochink. Tankubu, King Kayama, Siba, Roshi Thama, Zippin, Cranky Hispa, Ranj Banfa, Evil Plum, Nord. So this is actually our first non-winner house guest. It is Makosi from uh, season six. Now, just because she didn't win does not mean she is not an all-star. She definitely carried that season, and she is amazing. She not only competed in Big Brother six, but also did Ultimate Big Brother, just like Nadia. Oh, friend, I would not kill myself, but I'm glad I have made those friends. Makosi was definitely a firecracker on her season. She is originally from Zimbabwe, and she was just so exciting between her fake pregnancy scares and, of course, the jacuzzi scene. Let's hope she brings all of that again this time around. Zerba. Ah. Mm. <laughs> Back that. Salute for Jubsa Elofim. But of course, we're back to another winner, and this is actually Big Brother Season 7 winner, Pete. Uh, Pete was one of the first house guests to have Tourette's, and he was uh, definitely an amazing character and great representation. That's one thing I love about Big Brother UK, is that anyone and everyone can win. I do have to say, though, that with a few of these house guests, it can be potentially offensive to some of you. For instance, Pete has Tourette's. I did give him uh, the... Uh, trait that makes him talk to himself and stuff like that. And if that is offensive, I do apologize. Here's the 
Honey, I'm home. Wankers. <coughs> wow. <coughs> yes, sir, I've got to rent. Peach just hilarious. Entertainer. An actual angel, I think. Jump me up. Yeah. <laughs> Running a billion and you don't come across people like that in everyday life. I love people who are nuts. <laughs> you sure got a pretty mouth. You can get it to be cheered, isn't it? Yeah. I think. Just because that, that'll be, that'll be it. That's, that's lovely. Hey, yeah. Welcome to Sunday Night Live. <laughs> All right, so Pete yeah. is 39 years old. Since leaving the show, he's gone on to do a bunch of different media gigs and also opened his own cleaning service. So let's see if he keeps this house clean or not. Here is Pete. All right, so our sixth house guest is, of course, the iconic Nikki Graham, also from Big Brother Series 7 with Pete, where she had a romance with him. Sadly, I made this cast and filmed this episode before her passing in real life, and I gotta say that her death has been really devastating for me. What you see ain't what you I really like it here. I think it's absolutely unbelievable. I was born to just have money, and I haven't got any. Everyone's really nice so far. You've done nothing. You're just moaning. You're like a child. She's so, so absorbed. Me, me. Feeling very venomous and angry. <laughs> Oh, making me want to kill myself. Do you honestly think I would check someone on TV? Wow. Boring. Bitch. Oh, you better know yourself if you're talking about me, little girl. Little girl, get me a sin. I've learned that most of the time, I am wrong. Now, Nikki went on to compete multiple times in the UK series, even went on to compete in Big Brother Canada. She was iconic, but unfortunately she did pass this year due to her eating disorder that she suffered from almost her entire life. I do have to say I made her sim skinny, as it felt wrong for me not to acknowledge that. However, it was before her death, and if it does offend you now, I do apologize. All right, but up next we do have our bad girl Charlie as she is the third now non-winner to enter the house, and she is from Big Brother Series 8. 
Uh, she definitely was the bad girl of the season and brought all of the arguments and all of the heat. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Charlie! Oh my god. Hello! How are you? Loads of people like being me and that, and I was like, oh, don't boo me! I'm like a top of mama, you either love me or you hate me. Get down with it, man. I'm here. Charlie's Charlie. <laughs> she's, she's a savvy sick girl. If someone says something to me, I ain't offended me at all, but I'll sit there and get so annoyed that I've got to say something about it. Yeah. Fucking assholes! Don't shut up! Also, I've just had enough now. The fifth person to be evicted from the Big Brother house is Charlie. Oh, oh. Charlie, do you want to go back into the house? Help, help, help. Hell yeah. Hello, everybody. How are you? You pair of assholes. You are the best Big Brother. Oh, the you as the most wrathful housemate. I know. Tell me about it. Reward? I call this evil punishment! I've cried in front of them. I've been a, such a laugh in front of them, you know? And I've also been a downright bitch in front of them. And to them. So I think they've seen my true side. So, of course, Charlie did have the iconic return to the Big Brother house on her season. However, she did not return in later seasons, nor really do much apart from get a ton of plastic surgery. But here she is now. We have Charlie. Hey, but day so. Same trip. Bella Foy, huh? Rubara. The loaf of Ruana. Kima. Rashu. Organort. Spama. Flume. Apollachaba. Parfaisé shrubs. Jeeps <sighs> parfaisé horrid. Yogs. Sigloon Haviro. Oh. Vinacapa. Uh -huh. All right, and here is the winner of Charlie's season, Big Brother 8. We have Brian Bello. Brian was fun, energetic, young, youthful, and a bit dumb, um, but he was definitely a highlight of that season, and it was N not a surprise that he won. He is definitely a great human being. It's Brian! <laughs> That's well fucked, isn't it? Go buzz and cry. Oh, what's your name? Oh, shit. I'm not really that complicated. I like getting pissed and going out my mates <laughs> and going down lakeside shopping. Brian's like the man, man. How Brian, you not yeah. like Brian? Hey. Yeah, we're all really, Are you? really fit. Do you drink cider? She's fit and she drinks cider. Whistle for a cider. Woo! Uh, Brian, you're not drinking a can first thing in the morning, man. <laughs> Good way to start the day. Brian, Pauline is not from Australia. Shut up. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> He has extreme highs and then extreme lows as well. Like you're gonna fight, yeah? <laughs> Don't you dare! Give me a hug. My main thing sometimes is not being able to trust me. Don't think about everyone else in your life. It's not just about you. It's not just about you. This is fucking shouting, and I'll take you to town if you're shouting. He's gonna knock me off, though, isn't he? Romeo and Juliet, Shakespeare play. Who's Shakespeare? Who's shit? Oh, genius. <laughs> <laughs> Proper to be here. It's just such a pack of time. It's everything that I wanted. Now, Brian actually went on to compete again in Big Brother with Nikki Graham, actually. And he, that season on Channel 5, he actually climbed the walls, escaped, and quit. So let's hope he doesn't climb the walls this time. Here is our eighth house guest, Brian Bellow. And Fabi Frenoy, Ebonit Yishkawanj, Feferu, Viva Deso, Ebwa, Sipa Sipa, Arpanaya Umfra, Franj Bishoshi, Kumiel, Bouchard Blast, Masho, Jaleva Kitsuni, 
Narshkal Smeba. Mabu. Ah. Ulak Zer. Zamba. Benica Fenabe. Hispalip Grenia. With Brian wrapping up our channel four days, that brings us to our ninth house guest, and it is actually Big Brother 12 winner, Aaron. He was the first winner on Channel 5 and was the first winner to get booed when he exited the house. Hi, Aaron. Right. How's it going? All right. You have been a playboy for half. <laughs> Aaron's really good at hooks. I've got a bit of a man crush on Mark. I had a little bit of a crush on Louise. You fancy me? I think you're the best one in the house, without a doubt. <laughs> I can be jealous. I can't have the way I feel. There's three in the bed, and the little one said, I'm horny. Oh, can't be around people like that. Good beats evil every time. Every time. Little boy lost. Every day he's sitting by himself. Oh, God. Well, I've just lost respect for you and Louise. I'm not going to be such you saying goodbye now. No, I agree. You're so dramatic. I'm not. I just said no. <laughs> Do you love end dubs? What's end dubs? Oh. Aaron is an odd character. Strafe, punch, no. Why are you talking to me? Talk to me. I'm your friend. I just love spending time with Aaron. Haven't I done well, eh? I want to look cuddly but dangerous. You look dangerous right now. I'm not a bed hopping sex fiend. I like pasta. Why I was insanely attracted to him at the time, I'm not too sure. Um, but I think out of all the fame hungry house guests on his season, he was the most relatable and that's what got him to win. But not enough to get him liked. So our next house guest is a bit of a controversial one. We have Helen Wood, the winner of Big Brother Power Trip. Um, she was a huge villain before she even entered the house, let alone inside the house. Um, and I don't know, I personally love to hate her. Hi, I'm Helen Wood. I'm currently the reigning champion of Big Brother. I'm going into cause a lot of mayhem. And if the housemates don't like it, they can bloody well lump it. It can be a bit like Larry sometimes, and I do swear an awful lot. There is no in-between with me. I'm loved or they want to kill me. Simple as. I did have the most arguments in the house. People start, I always finish it. Pull the oh, fuck off! Oh, Two-faced bitch. I'm not going to raise the level. Twat. And I am not sorry one fucking bit. <laughs> I think I'd probably get on with Nikki Graham if she was in the house. But I have heard she slagged me off, which will really piss me off. It feels amazing to be going back in the Big Brother eyes. I'm surprised they're having me back, actually. Now, like that clip alludes to, Helen did later on go and compete in the next season of Big Brother, Big Brother Time Bomb, and she competed with Nikki Graham and Brian Bello. They did not get along one bit. Let's see if they can get along this time around.
We are halfway through the cast list, and our house guest number 11 is another winner, and it is Isabel, who won Big Brother 18. She actually came in two weeks late, but still managed to take the crown home in the end. It's Isabel. Is it is actually a real life doll. Tan tan, exfoliate tan tan. <laughs> Isabel is a beautiful girl. That is so kind. She is such a selfless person. What's wrong? And I think she's very kind. Don't allow one person to get you down. I slept with an Aditha. Role model to your son, though. People just hate it when somebody is just honest. She struts around as if her s don't stink. Isabel, I don't know what you're here for. Are you not going to apologise? No. I'm not having all of you gang up or not. You just do it. I'll go up. You sure? Oh, oh my God. God. She has got balls bigger than mine. Isabel, do you have thick skin? Yeah, thick and very tanned skin. I respect her massively. <laughs> <laughs> It's definitely made me a better person. Oh, yeah. This is so fun. And I've made friends that I'm going to keep for life. Amen! She's just a little ball of fun with a big heart. Isabel really showed on her season that under that superficial orange fake exterior, inside was a real, genuine, relatable person. And that is exactly why she won. And I'm really excited to see her back in this one. Ulak. Yemful Apolachaba. Zupal. Funa. Uchi Kumba. Mumni. Plevar. Jilurba. Mitsuni. Shumbar. Vitaneb. All right, time for our 12th house guest. It's Cameron Cole. He won Big Brother 19, which is the last season of Big Brother UK. So he is currently the reigning champion of Big Brother. And he was really nice, really likable. Um, and as you can see, it's actually starting to rain. So my Sims from now on are going to be inside the interview studio um, while we do this, in case we were wondering. Quiet a minute, because Cameron's got something that he wants to share with the group. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do this. It's very uh, awkward and uncomfortable. I don't quite know how I'm going to say it, but um, I get a chance to tell everyone I wanted to, family and stuff like that. I only told my mum about, literally, I think it was a couple of days before I came in. Um, but because I've, I've got such great connections with you, I want to be all honest with you. Um, and I did have a chat with Lewis on, when was it, uh, Thursday, um, and said to him, um, so the likelihood now is that everyone on the outside knows about it, so I think it's only right that you guys know about it. And I can't actually say the word because I don't know why, I just can't bring myself to do it. Um, but I'll just spell it out because it's probably the easiest way for me to do it. Can we ask you a question? Um, <laughs> can we ask you? And I just hope you will sort of think of me the same way. Can um, ask you? Yeah, please. Can we know you gay? Yes. <laughs> So as you can see, Cameron was a shy 19-year-old who came out on Big Brother openly, and I think that's definitely a force that helped him win. Only for a few weeks later, he opened an OnlyFans account with his boyfriend, and I gotta say, I subscribed for a month. Great hole pics. You should check it out. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to start getting into celebrity Big Brother contestants, with our first one being the infamous Stephen Bear.
so so. Open the f***ing door now! Big Brother is working hard to get you out of the dining room as soon as possible. Bear, let go of the door, Bear. Open the f***ing door! That's what I wanted, alright? Not being silly. Have a seat. I've got a seat. Can you sit down, please, Bear? Okay. Sit down. I calm down. Sit down. It's not a rare here. It's fine. Stay a bit of calmness. Yeah. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. I'll know there's someone I'll else there. And I'll stand here. Stay in the seat. <sighs> sorry. No, I'm sorry. Now, as we all know, Stephen Bear is not a little cute, cuddly teddy bear. He is actually a huge douchebag, dirtbag horrible person who's actually just recently got arrested, I think. Um, he, if we're talking about OnlyFans, he has an interesting OnlyFans. I don't know if you've seen that weird thing that he has, but it's a sight. Let's hope he doesn't show it in the house this time around. Been a copper. Ah, Somebody. on the road. Mackiner. Any fish? Should be in over. Nice. <laughs> 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 is my witness that I have tried as hard as I possibly can. Oh my gosh, I haven't come in like 30 days. Wait, how long? It's been a long time. First nominations, to Ah, bitch! You know what? Hold on. Sit down. Sit down. Just wobble. Just wobble. Just wobble, Just wobble your That's ass. Right. Keep your legs. Yeah. Just start wobbling that ass. I just said, I just said that. I just said, I just said I'm what the you the minute I saw you. Oh, I'm okay, sorry. Right. I don't mean to feel Tiffany is alone in the bathroom. Somebody lied to her several times and told her that she was fly, hot, and sexy and oh, 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 Are you serious? Shh, sit down. Oh sit down. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Sit down, get up. Oh, oh, this is Big Brother. Put Megan go to the bathroom immediately. Don't look at me. I'm not don't, looking don't, at you. Okay, well, just look that way then. Don't even fucking look at me. I won't look at you then. Good. Because I'm not able to do what I want to do. What do you want to do? I want to go. Fuck. I, 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 I mean, um. <laughs> in your big feet of knocked you know them out. What? Your big everything knocked them stones out. You think I came over here to or have to borrow? You want to say to Gemma? Pretty much, I will let Gemma know that she is a fat. No, that's huge. Whoa. That will blow my back out. Seriously, <laughs> that will make me cry. Yeah. Tiffany is alone in the bedroom. <laughs> now, Tiffany is iconic, okay? From the David's dad moment <laughs> to even I Love New York. I grew up watching Flavor of Love, I Love New York, Rock of Love, Charm School. I grew up on MTV reality show Trash. And I gotta say, honestly, anytime Tiffany New York Pollard is on my TV screen, I feel like those years are like my best years. Like when I look back at the time that she is on TV, I'm like, wow, I was really living my best life. And I hope she brings that same chaotic, full of life energy into this Big Brother house, because I love her. Ooh, poking. Ah. 
Now, I may have personally been an Ann Winnicom fan myself, but we do have the winner of one of the Celebrity Big Brother seasons, Shane, aka Courtney Act, who you might also know from RuPaul's Drag Race or even potentially Australian Idol. Now, the only thing interesting that Courtney Act actually did on this season was that planned wardrobe malfunction, and she had the weird relationship with Andrew, I guess, but I honestly don't really remember too much of her, but I thought it would be fun to include a RuPaul girl and a different kind of celebrity, and one that a lot of people recognize, because as you know, by watching Celebrity Big Brother, not too many of them are actual celebrities, and she's an actual recognizable face. So we have Courtney Act as house guest number 15. But of course, I couldn't do a season without the OG GC herself, Gemma Collins. I am Gemma Collins, former Towie star, best known for too much bronzer and always being on a diet. Oh my God, I've drunk so much red bull and burping. I mean, Gruel, when Big Brother mentioned Gruel, I mean, I've never seen Gruel in my life. I thought it was made up for Oliver Twist film. So when you like to have fun, fun, how's about a few? Laugh, laugh. Why do you not leave the blow dryers on all day? If you're hard up for the electric, I'll pay you for it. Oh, yeah, shit anyway. A takeaway of your choice just for you, not bothered. If it was a bottle of brandy, I would have been devoed. Gemma must line up by the door immediately. No, I don't want to play any more games. I'm fucking gamed out. I've had enough of playing games. Fucking hell. It's like having a job working 24-7 for two days on the trot. Christopher and Gemma are playing with a lemon in a sock. Oh! I've got to be honest, Big Brother, like, I don't think, I think I should leave the house. I'm shit at games. It's okay. She's stressing me. Come on, two oh. steps, Jim. 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 Don't get stressed. Jim, sure. <laughs> no, they're going to get this on, on the cameras. I hate you playing games, it's shit. I don't want to play another task. I fucking hate them. <laughs> All right, so thankfully it has stopped raining and the sun is back out, so I am going to join Gemma outside. Uh, Gemma did not win the season, um, but she did uh, win a piece of all of our hearts, that's for sure. Uh, she's gone on to do other shows and did just as terribly, and I gotta say, there will not be a lack of tasks or games this season, and she's going to have to deal with it again. Let's see how many meltdowns she manages to have. It's Gemma Collins. All right, so this house guest is a Celebrity Big Brother UK winner. It's Gary Busey. He is going to be our second American in the house uh, alongside Tiffany. So at least uh, Tiffany won't be the only American in the house. However, uh, she will be the only sane American in the house. Who? Your best bits. It's Gary. You know what the word team stands for? Together, everyone achieves more. I feel good. You are a superstar. I am. Has anyone seen Gary Busey? <laughs> Very intriguing. He's different. Shut up. He's 
very spiritual. We've all lived past lives, and in 32 of those lifetimes, we were together. This is why we fairies. What I desire to do is give people a good feeling about themselves. What? Hey. He's playing us all. That's wrong. I think you're being rude, and I think you should shush. No deal. Shut up. Don't tell me to shut up, you ignorant man. Shut up, Gary! I would like you to apologize. See ya. Act like you're this big spiritual guru. You're very funny. You are in a conflict forever because you can't get out of your own way. Back before you speak, Gary. The <laughs> goose. He finally found me. <laughs> oh. he's, he's a fascinating, fascinating man. I promise I'll kill you quick. It's a wrap for Gary. Win. W-I-N. Wanting it now. Hey. That's a good one. <laughs> All right, so Gary Busey is about a thousand years old and has died around 85 times at this point. And as someone who believes in uh, reincarnation, I'm not too sure why he's dragging this life out so much, but he's definitely iconic and an interesting character. Let's see if he dies in the house. All right, so next up we have our second house guest turned host. It is actually a celebrity at Big Brother UK winner, Rylan Adams. I think he was originally on The X Factor, got onto Celebrity Big Brother, went on to win while, while Brian was hosting, and then later went on to host the bit on the sideshow. Big Brother has a very special challenge for you. You will decide who goes where, the basement or the main house. No, drop me out, you're lying. <laughs> Island is mad. Oh, drop me out. Drop me out. Drop me right out. If someone in your eye, the mistakes it for the wall of the starts eating away. Open Gangnam Style. Oh, let's have a laugh. Come on, January. I can see your Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. I think I'm just worrying because we're all getting on so well. They hate us because we sent them to the basement. No, She's had a go on, he's a balls one. Congratulations, you were funny for a uh, second. I choose Ryland. Do you know what? I'm gonna have a ride when they walk in. You can't be a normal person. I live in the real world out there. We do hate living with these people. Nobody wants you here. I just feel like. At least I stuck up for myself. You never bleed and shut up, and no one else can get a friggin' word. Oh, no, this is a game! <laughs> <laughs> I like spending time with Ryland. He's my best friend in the house. <laughs> Apologise, because you just let one go. You know when you meet somebody and he's a star, he's a star. Please, anybody. <laughs> Hello, I've got my ID. I'll go and ask the manager. You know, tell him the tall one from X Factor. Hello, dear. I've had a share really. He walks into a room. You just want to be where he is. It's just so adorable. Thank you so much to whoever it was that went here. Let's get that Ryland on, because do you know what? You've made a little ginger boy's dream come true. One thing I absolutely love about Rylan is that he is a huge Big Brother UK fan. If Big Brother UK ever does come back, it will be because of Rylan um, and him constantly fighting for it to come back. He even has his own diary room in his house. He went on to marry an ex Big Brother UK contestant. He is the ultimate fan and I love that. all right now it's time for house guest number 19 our penultimate house guest and that is emma willis 
Uh, Emma did originally host the online part of Big Brother when it was on Channel 4. When it moved to Channel 5, she was a bit on the side. And then once Brian left, she replaced him and became the main face of Big Brother UK. And this is Big Brother's Been on the Star! Hello! And welcome to Big Brother's Been on the Side! A wham, a bam, thank you, man. We've got a show to do, so let's crack on with it. Do you want my maracas? You can have a play with them if you want. Think of us as the foreskin to the main show. Pull us back and you never know what you might find. Well, stop talking, Get it, got it, good! What? Uh, uh. Right, it is big. What a Such a <laughs> <laughs> You're hurting for a squirting. <laughs> I just spat everywhere. <laughs> but in some mood. Emma was an amazing host of Big Brother. I honestly was super impressed during the days where she would host Big Brother and then go on to host Bit on the Side after. Um, I loved her on the show. She's gone on to host great things like The Voice UK and other things like that. Um, so she definitely haven't lost a career since the show ended. All right, last but not least, we have our 20th house guest. It is Davina McCall. Now, she has actually been a house guest before, but only for a couple hours on a Celebrity Big Brother season in the Channel 4 days. She was the original host of Big Brother UK, and I love her so much. Right now, she is actually a judge on The Masked Singer UK. Now, I have never felt so much love from someone that I have never met or know in my entire life. Davina is the British mom I've never had, and there is nothing more comforting than seeing her talk and speak. I absolutely adore her. Evil. Hannah Harnum. Sawada. Oh, the bunch of. Brogy. All right, house guest, welcome to the Big Brother UK All Stars house. All 20 of you have now arrived, and from now on, the front door will be locked and will remain locked until the first eviction next Friday. So I'm going to be posting a video five days a week, Monday through Friday, recapping the previous day. Uh, each week, you guys will nominate someone for eviction, whether it's two people up or more on the block, and you, the public, the viewers at home, will be able to leave comments down below on who you want to save or who you want to evict. That person will leave on our Friday episodes, and we will do it all again until we are down to our winner, where that winner will win 100,000 simoleons and be crowned the all-star Big Brother player. Now, of course, this household and all the members, all the household members, the cast, the builds, whatever, is available on the Sims Gallery at Singleton RW. And of course, you can follow me on Twitter at Sims at Hot Dogs Sims for all the latest updates on uploads and everything else. And until then, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.